This is I'm Stuck, and in this video we are looking at simultaneous equations. So there are three ways that simultaneous equations can be solved. The first one of these is graphically, and we're not going to go into too much detail about how to solve them graphically, but essentially if it gives you a graph, you draw the line on the graph, you draw the other one, and then you see where the two points meet. But the other two that we will go into depth about is by eliminating one of the variables and by substitution. So the first thing to look at is when you eliminate one of the variables. And this is slightly easier, but we will see a difficult example in number two. So the first thing to look at is 4d plus 2e is equal to 2 and 5d plus 2e is equal to 7. Now you can already see that in both of these, they both have a 2e. Now this means that you will want to subtract one away from the other. And because one of them is 5d plus 2e and one of them is 4d plus 2e, you can see that the one you will want to subtract will be the 5d minus 4d as this makes it easier. So I'll just do this to show that we are reversing them. So then in order to subtract them, it's simply going to be 5d plus 2e plus 2e is equal to 7 and then we will minus the 4d plus 2e is equal to 2 and then it's simply drawing a line underneath them and doing 5d plus 4d is equal to just d 2e minus 2e you can cancel both of these and then 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. So therefore you know that d is equal to 5. However, we can't finish there as we have to find out what e is equal to. And to do this, we just sub 5 back into the equation. And for this, you do 4 times 5. I'm using the first one here, but we could have used the second one if we wanted to. So 4 plus 5 plus 2e is equal to 2. And therefore, 20 plus 2e is equal to 2. And in order to get 2e on its own, we'll minus the 20 away over here. So it'll be 2 minus 20, which is going to be minus 18. So therefore, we know that 2e is equal to minus 18. And that means that e is equal to minus 9. And there we are. Those are our two answers. We have d is equal to 5 and e is equal to minus 9. Now, the second one is slightly more difficult as there isn't an obvious thing to subtract. But what we can look at is we've got 3x here and 7.5x. And if you do a little bit of calculation, you can work out that 7.5x is 2.5 times the amount of 3x. Now, therefore, this means that what you'll do is you'll times the first one, this line here, you'll times all of that by 2.5. Now, this is a calculator exam in most cases. So what you'll be able to do is just use your calculators to sub it in, which will make it 7.5x, which, as you can see, is the same as the bottom. And if you do minus 14 times 2.5, then you'll get, um, you'll get minus 35. Why? And then 32 times 2.5 is equal to 80. Now this looks a lot easier now as we have 7.5x on both of them. So you'll do the same thing as you did previously. And this is going to be 7.5x minus 22y. And you don't have to touch the bottom one at all because you have the same as the top is equal to 10. Now, it gets slightly difficult here just because it's awkward numbers to deal with. So best to leave it in fractions. And you'll do minus 35y minus, 20, uh, minus, minus 22y, which is therefore going to be minus 35y uh, plus 22y. And that's equal to minus 13y is therefore equal to 80 minus 10, 70. Now, instead of working in a decimal as 
you have to sub this up back in. You'll just make it y is equal to 70 divided by minus 13. So it's going to be 70 over 13. And because it's minus, it will be minus 70 over 13. Now, once again, we haven't finished yet. So we'll sub back this minus 70 into 13. And we'll sub this into the top equation. So 3x and then minus 14y will be minus, we'll put this in brackets, 14 times by minus 70 over 13 over 13. And then this will be equal to 32. And then simply you have to type this in your calculator, which will give you 3x plus 980 over 13. Now, as I say, it's horrible numbers, but you should never be distracted by using horrible numbers as it is right. And that is equal to 32. And then rearranging this, so you minus the 980 over 13, you'll get 3x is equal to minus 564 over 13, which is therefore, once you do divided by 3, you get x is equal to minus 188 over 13. So the final thing to look at in this topic is substitution. And normally you see this in context. So the question we have here is a circle with the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 crosses the line y equals 7 minus x at two points. So therefore you have to solve these simultaneous equations to work out the two points of intersection. Now in order to do this, we will use substitution. And as we can see, y is equal to 7 minus x. So in order to get it all in terms of x, we'll substitute this y into the y squared here. And therefore, we will have our equation in which we can work out x. So that means that x squared plus 7 minus x squared, which we therefore replaced with the y squared, is equal to 25. Now therefore we will expand all of this to get x squared plus and then minus x times minus x is x squared then minus x times 7 is um, minus 7x and then you times that by 2 because there's two of them so minus 14x and then 7 times 7 is 49. So that's going to be plus 49. And then you're minus the 25 over. So that will be plus 24. Now that therefore is equal to 2x squared minus 14x plus 24. And that's all equal to 0. But in order to simplify that even further, just to make it even easier for us, we can divide it all by 2 to get x squared minus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. And with this, we can work that out by putting it into two brackets. So this goes nicely into x, then you'll do minus 3 and x minus 4 is equal to 0, which will therefore mean that x is equal to 3 and 4. So then in order to find y, we're just going to sub both of these back in. So 3 
and 4, and we'll sub that into the easy one. So y is equal to 7 minus x. So then y is equal to 7 minus 3. That's equal to 4. So therefore, one of the points is equal to 3, 4. That's one of our answers. And then you'll substitute the other point in. So then that's equal to 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. So therefore, the other point of intersection is just 4, 3. And that's as simple as that. So normally, a simultaneous equation isn't a sole question on its own, but it'll come in at the end of a question in order for you to work it out, such as the circle of the line equation, one that we just had here. So thank you for watching this video, and see you soon. Bye.